Hi guys, this is the beautiful Frankie. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I had lots of fun doing this one. Thank you, Frankie. I've taken the Laura Mercier primer in EC1, it's called the Eye Canvas, and I've just used that to pop that all over the lid using a MAC 242 brush, and that's just to prime the lid and to neutralise any discoloration and also to kind of smooth out the skin on the lid. I've then just taken a MAC 217 brush and I've just used that to really buff over any edges and make it nice and soft. Now what I've done is just groomed through her brows and just shaping the brows just to make sure everything is nicely groomed into place so that when we go to apply the colour it's nice and neat. I've taken Max Strut Eyebrow Pencil and I'm just using that just to give a little bit more definition to the brows. Um, she's got quite nice brows anyway so there's not really a need to really sort of um, change the brow shape as such. It's just to fill in any sparser areas and again just give a little bit more depth um, and definition. The other thing that I did was to take a little bit of Omega Eyeshadow by MAC and I've just taken that on a angled brush and running that through the brows just to help give it a little bit more sort of a cooler tone because she's quite warm, her features are quite warm. Um, I just wanted to balance the brows and just make them a little bit more almost neutral um, by using warm and cool colours on the brow. This is called the tight liner technique that I'm actually doing now. So I've taken a flat eyeliner brush by Laura Mercier and I've taken the Laura Mercier gel eyeliner in noir and I'm just using that to push that into the root of the lashes. So that's going to give us a really nice depth and definition. This is one of those things that you can do regardless of whether you're doing a heavy look or a dark look look or a light look it's just something that gives lots of definition lots of depth especially good for um, those of you who have sort of the slightly lighter eyes um, it's good on everyone but it, it's just especially good on lighter eyes because it creates a lovely contrast as you'll be able to see when Frankie opens her eyes you can kind of see um, how it almost makes the blue look just that little bit more bluer the next thing I've done is use the Lamasca Liquid Metal in Enrapture Base all over the eyes. It's just a lovely coppery, vibrant colour. I just really wanted to show you how vibrant it was. So I've used the uh, MAC 242 brush again to apply this cream base. So it's just doing it in a really thin layer. Then using the MAC 217, I'm just really buffing it to keep it really light. Um, the only issue with these bases is they can have a tendency to crease, hence that's why I used a slightly lighter primer first. Um, but if you keep it in thin layers and layer a powder over the top, um, you should find that it should stay and um, you know should stay in place for the whole day. But if you do it in light layers, that's the key. What I've done here is taken the Guerlain um, Loose Powder, it's a metal iridescent powder in Cuivre Or, which I think translates into copper gold. Uh, it's just a very dark coppery golden metallic pigment um, and I've just taken that on a MAC 242, pushing that on top of that Imola Masca base almost to set it and give it a little bit more vibrancy. So as you can see here, just doing it onto the other eye using the MAC 242 to really push that in and then I will flip back to the MAC 217 to really buff it all and keep it just really nice and light because I really do not want it to crease on her. I've gone back in with a little bit of Laura Mercier's gel eyeliner and I'm actually using it into the waterline. This is a really good trick if you find that sometimes your core pencil just doesn't last in the waterline. Use a gel eyeliner, obviously with discretion. Um, sometimes people can find it irritable. Um, it does irritate the eye slightly but um, I find it's okay um, and I always ask people before I do it anyway. So um, it's a really good technique. It just gives a little bit more inkiness to the waterline. The next thing I did was to take a pencil dome brush back in with a little bit of that um, loose powder by Guerlain and I just popped that underneath the lower lash line to sort of start um, creating a little bit more of a sort of haze around the eye. Um, I will lay other colours on top but that's primarily the first colour that I really wanted to put down underneath the lash line to enhance her blue eyes. 
I've now taken an angled liner brush and I've just taken a little bit of Mystery Eyeshadow by MAC and I'm just pushing that into the lash line to now start to create a sort of gradient um, that will kind of complement that sort of hazy um, look that we're trying to achieve. So um, I'm now just using a dome brush just to blend that out and keep again nice and soft. So as you can see now you start to see a little bit more definition just around the eyelid. Just doing exactly the same thing on the other eye. Back in with the angled liner brush and I use the brush to almost feather the colour upwards so that we have a nice sort of gradient. Then what I'll start to do is add a little bit of black into the um, eyes and that will just almost complete the look. Taken a MAC 217 brush and I've just used a little bit of mystery eyeshadow just underneath the lash line now. So we're creating a little bit more of that haze underneath. We've taken the colour quite far down because she can really take these really strong looks and I think this looks really nice on her, especially once the foundation is on. Um, it will kind of give that sort of perfect, imperfect sort of look. The other thing that I did was to take a little bit of the Laura Mercier eyeliner in noir on an angled liner and really push that down again once into the roots so that you're creating that depth again and I'm just kind of feathering it out. I have used just a pair of false eyelashes on Frankie. Frankie has got really amazing eyelashes anyway, so she hardly needs anything at all. I did apply a little bit of mascara, but I wanted there to be a little bit more featheriness to the look. And she's also actually never worn um, eyelashes before, so this was a really nice chance for her to try something different. Um, so that's just using a little bit of Duo Latex glue. It's the dark one, and I'm just using the tweezers now just to really position them and make sure that they're tight into the lash band. Now moving on to the skin, I've already primed Frankie's skin with the Laura Mercier Original Foundation Primer. I'm using the Laura Mercier Silk Creme in soft ivory all over her skin. This has a lovely kind of yellow nearness to it so it actually takes down the pinkness that you can see there. Um, and I'm just using that on a Real Techniques uh, Beauty Sponge. So I'm just using that to really push it into the skin. It's a, it's a slightly damp sponge so it just creates a lovely flawless, almost dewy effect. Now to start concealing I've used the Laura Mercier Secret Concealer in number one on the Secret Concealer brush and I've just reversed the brush just to kind of really keep it nicely blended and pushing it into the skin. To conceal any sort of blemishes on the skin we use the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Palette in SC2 and that was literally just to take down a little bit of redness and just the very few blemishes that she has on her skin. As you can see, it's a really, really light touch with that. You really hardly need any product at all to achieve a really flawless base. We set the skin with a little bit of translucent powder, and that was just on the T-zones, just to keep the shine away from the skin. Used a little bit of the Laura Mercier Tinted Lip Balm, and that was in Nude, and that was just to give a lovely sort of neutral base to the lips. All I've done here is added a little bit of Max Lip Gloss in Personal Taste. The only thing I did here was to add a little bit of the Reflex Pearl Glitter into the inner tear duct area. That's basically the finished look. What I've also done afterwards is to do a nice deep lip with this. Just because A. Frankie really likes a deep lip. But also to show you that even with a sort of paler skins, the deeper lips look it's absolutely stunning. Okay guys, here we have the deeper lip look. This is the OCC Lip Tar in Black Dahlia. If you like this look guys, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe and leave any comments that you have in the uh, box below. I'll pop some links to my Instagram and Facebook and hopefully I shall see you very soon. Thank you very much for watching and take care of yourselves. Bye!